Okay, so so far we've only been talking about theoretical probability. In our heads we're thinking how many different ways could this happen? But there's another type of uh, probability called empirical probability. Theoretical probability is based on the set of equally likely outcomes and the number of elements in each set. By contrast, empirical probability applies to a situation where we actually observe how, how frequently an event occurs. So the empirical probability of an event E is P of E is equal to the observed number of times E occurs divided by the total number of observed occurrences. So often when we're talking about heads or tails or um, a deck of cards or a die, we're just thinking about it in terms of what could have happened. But we actually could do an experiment here. So suppose you toss a coin eight times and heads ob was observed. Well, let's actually do it. Let's find out how many times this might happen. Now, theoretically, it should be four times out of eight, right? But let's see what happens when we actually just try it. So our first flip here is heads. Next we get another heads. Another heads. Okay, we got a tails. This is our fourth experiment. Got to keep going till we get 8. Now we get tails. Heads. And we get tails, and then we get heads. So if I was in class, I would actually be flipping a coin, but we're just using our simulator for now, since we are not in class together. So suppose you toss a coin eight times, and heads was observed one, two, three, four, five times. Okay, so the empirical probability of observing heads, P of H, is equal to 5 out of 8. Because we actually observed it happening 5 times out of the 8 uh, tosses. What is the theoretical probability of landing on heads? Well, theoretically, you're going to have 1 out of every um, toss be heads out of two chances, heads or tails. So um, the empirical probability and the theoretical probability are totally allowed to be different because if I repeated this experiment, I might not get five eights for my empirical probability again. It might be something different. Whereas the theoretical probability always stays the same. Okay, so this stays the same. Whereas this depends on your experiment. So for our next example, we have a table that shows the results from a movie preference survey. If one person is randomly selected, find the prob indicated probabilities. So if we repeated the survey with another set of people, you're going to have different results. But for this specific results, for this specific survey, we're trying to find the probability. So on our first one, we have to think about what is the sample space? How many people are actually um, chosen here? And it looks like 56 total people, male, female, whatever they picked, were actually surveyed. So 56 is our number in our sample space. And we're trying to find the probability of selecting someone who prefers comedies. So when I'm talking about comedies, uh, I'm talking about this column here. Now, I don't care if they're male or female. I just care about the total number. So the person who prefers comedies, the number of people, is going to be 37. So the probability of choosing someone who likes a comedy is going to be 37 out of 56. And that doesn't reduce, so that's our answer. Next, we're trying to find the probability of selecting a person who is female. So my n of s is still staying the same because we're talking about the whole 
result, but I'm talking about the probability of just female. So where the females, I don't care if they picked action or comedy, I just care that they're female. So that's going to be 29 females. So the probability of picking someone that's female is going to be 29 out of 56. Again, 29 is prime and doesn't reduce with 56. Next, we're trying to find the probability of selecting male who prefers action. So my sample space is still the same, 56 uh, members in the sample space. But when I'm trying to find the number of males who prefer action movies, I have to look inside my table. I have to match up the action column with the male column, which looks like 10 here. So the probability that we'll have a male who prefers action movies is going to be 10 out of 56. Now 10 out of 56 reduces by 2. So that gets me 5 out of 28. And I believe that is the final answer. And this concludes our lesson on fundamentals of probability.